All right, you guys, so as far as the fuel pump, again, it's a full-blown motorsport kit. And it comes with everything that you would need to install, except for this one thing right here. It's the Veers Engineering um, Starvation, Fuel Starvation Door. So I figured since I'm going to be going into the fuel basket, I might as well put this part in just in case, I don't know, maybe I decide to ever go to a trek. But um, if you guys do decide that you're going to be tracking or will be tracking, might as well buy this piece here and just get the basket out one time, upgrade everything in there, and just be good to go. Alright, so fuel pump wise, it is going to be right over here on the driver's side, passenger seat on the back. So all you have to do is remove this 10 millimeter bolt, like so, and this seat can just come off like so next up is to open the uh, fuel door here so that you guys can relieve some of the uh, pressure if there's any by the fuel pump like so all right so you can go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver and kind of just peel this off not too bad since this is an old car, it came off relatively easy. And then after that, you can go ahead and take off this connector here by clicking this button here and just pulling it out. After that, you can go ahead and just take this fuel line off, get some paper towels ready or towels, just so you could clean up the spilled gasoline that's gonna be running all over the place. All right, and to take this off, all you have to do is press this two clips right here, pull this out, and you should be good. All right, you guys, so to take this off in the car, um, yeah, actually, uh, I, I follow the tip on FT86 Speed Factory by using a screwdriver and a rubber mallet. Now, use a rubber mallet just because it's probably safe because if you do use a metal hammer and hit something, it causes friction and friction causes sparks. And if you have a spark right next to your gas tank, that's uh, two things that are uh, probably bad together. So, um, just be safe, take it slowly, make sure you don't smoke near the, uh, the fuel pump area. And also, don't use power tools, because power tools tend to spark, like these uh, things right here. And again, uh, when installing this, keep in mind there is a blue marker right over here that's also in the car. So, you do your best to kind of align that. And then, again, there's another thing inside the fuel um, uh, tank. Here, the same way you take off this clip so just press this pull it out and it should come right out all right you guys so at this part of the video I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover because at this point I was kind of just winging it like looking around online to see what I need to do so I'll just talk over the uh, important parts or important steps for this install so as you guys can see here there is a spring system that's holding the fuel basket all together so once you compress that there's actually going to be a clip on the side of the spring and all you have to do is take some pliers and pull it right out all right so looking around this uh, basket here there is three clips holding it into place before it actually comes apart so all you have to do is unclip those um, I found it kind of uh, you got to unclip them all at the same time because if you don't one side would clip back and vice versa so have them all unclipped together and once you do that the tank kind of just separates out all right so once you do have it somewhat apart there is a clip here that you can go ahead and disconnect the silver or gray one here it's just a regular clip so press the clip in and pull out and it should come right out and there is also gonna be another one here the black one so the same thing it is kind of bit uh, a little bit challenging to get that out but once you do there it goes Alright, so once you have it somewhat apart, you can go ahead and take off this three-piece clip here. It's just a, just so you have more room to work on. And the main priority that you're going to be working on is this little uh, 
tank here that holds the pump in place. Before that though, you're going to be greeted with this fuel filter on the bottom that you have to take off. So it's just easy, again, three piece clips. So unclip those and it should come right out. So to actually get the fuel pump out, all you have to do is get a flathead screwdriver or some kind of stick to poke it from the top and it should just slide right down. So there is going to be a little black o-ring that you have to take off from there so don't forget that because you are going to need to put a new one from the other fuel pump. So for the o-ring, this uh, kit does come with it already attached on there, but if it doesn't, make sure you do have that. And all you have to do is stick it right in how it came out and line up that o-ring to the hole like the original fuel pump. And make sure the wires are also up there and then just push it in and it should just sit nice and tight. So as you guys can see, the fuel pump is a lot bigger than the uh, stock one, so there is stuff sticking out on there. That's why I kind of recommend, actually fully recommend, that you get the kit because it comes with everything that you need spacer-wise to get this thing to fit in your basket uh, properly. So as you guys can see here, that three clip that we had before is now not needed because they do provide you with that um, aluminum one that's uh, gonna go on there like so. Now for the stock clip, you are going to need to cut something. You guys see this little clip thing, the two clips that I'm pointing at. You're going to have to cut that and you're going to discard up the fuel filter part because that small clip is still needed to hold that little regulator next to the fuel pump. Alright you guys, so as you can see here, I cut the part here. You are going to need the smaller one to the left. And if it does look a little different, it's because I took off the fuel filter part that was originally on the right side. Now that smaller piece will go on to here, which will hold it in place. And for the rest of the install, you won't need this bigger piece here, so you can just set it aside or throw it away. Right, so like I mentioned, uh, you get this small piece here and clip it into place where it used to go. And then for the aluminum one, it's going to go in the same way that the original one would clip in, except you would have to loosen it with Allen screws. And then once you have it in the right orientation, you can go ahead and tighten it and make sure it stays in place because you don't want this fuel pump kind of um, moving around or falling out of place when you're driving. So always make sure that everything is nice and tight. And lastly, don't forget to put in the new fuel filter that comes with the kit. Alright, so at this point of the install, it's a good idea to get your Virus um, fuel starvation door in. So it is plug and play. All you gotta do is put it in that spot and then clip it in and it should just stay right in. Just make sure it's facing the right direction. So you want the steel part facing the hole. And once you do have it in place, just make sure that it swings out and open properly and other than that you should be good to go all right you guys so as you can see here I put back the fuel pump in the basket just to keep it a little bit cleaner in my table uh, before we do close up everything we do need to connect these two connection here onto the old connection in the old fuel pump so the easiest way to do that is to just simply cut it off with this full-blown kit 
it does come with uh, butt connectors I think is what they call them so it makes it a lot easier all you have to do is use some wire stripper on the other connection and then put them into place and crimp them up and you should be good to go and I did forget to mention so the connection would go through red on blue and then the ground which is black will go on the uh, black or grayish wire and then starting to put everything back the black connection is the fuel level sensor so that would go in the first clip there as you guys can see and then the other connection will be for the fuel pump itself also another thing to mention is the fuel pump itself won't clip in anymore because it is a little bit taller so those clip won't go back into place but that's okay because the top of the fuel basket is the thing that will actually hold this thing together before that though you're gonna have to take off this seal here because there is another spacer that comes with the kit that you have to put on so you would have to put on that and then after that's on and is in place you will be putting back this uh, other sealer here so what I found the most challenging of this install is putting back this spacer here and one thing is because it was tight and also another thing is that this o-ring here wouldn't stay in place so I'll show you guys how I kind of manage that but if you guys have any other good ideas to actually keep this o-ring from stepping out of that little space there maybe some kind of glue or sealant glue that would probably work better in this case because I was having a lot of trouble trying to get that o-ring to stay and it was just kind of a stretching all over the place which is probably not a good thing once you have that spacer on there with the o-ring properly uh, seated you can go ahead and take that original basket seal and put it back into place like so alright so as far as putting things back together before you do that though make sure all the wires are all connected and tucked in the basket itself after that you can go ahead and compress the basket and put the clip in from the side where there's a spring and your fuel basket is all back together again all right so putting the basket back into the gas tank will be the reverse process from the beginning of this video and there is still gonna be that indicator line that you do have to line up but for my case I was not able to line it up properly because it was just kind of getting too hard and I don't want to break anything in there but I've read the same issues online and people seem to have been okay with it so for now that should work out fine as far as everything else, make sure all the lines and the electronics are all connected properly and you should be good to go. Alright, so to actually test this out, you can go ahead and put back your fuel pump fuse and then the battery cable and then finally tune your car. Alright, as you guys can hear here, the car is idling nicely which is a very good thing to know that everything is installed properly, at least I hope so. Alright, so I didn't show this in the video, but the car was flashed with the base ROM that I got from my tuner. So before you can even start the car, you would need to do that because there, the different size injectors and map sensor on here will not let the car start on stock tune. Other than that, that's how you install a fuel pump in your car. Overall, it wasn't too bad. It's definitely doable by yourself, but just make sure you take the extra step to do everything properly.